Man. Read the book. We also are men of like passions with you. Wait a minute. We extra, we extra, extraordinary men. Don't Paul said we we're not just men. We also are men of like passions with you. We men just like you all. That's what the apostles say. Do you hear me? And you find anybody talking different than that? Run from them. Amen. Do you hear me? Run from them. How the apostles ran, you run. Amen. <laughs> Do you understand? We also are men of like passion with you, with you, and preach unto you that ye should turn. We from these preach unto you that you should turn from these vanities unto the living God, unto the living God, which made heaven and earth and the sea and all things that are therein. That's what you need to turn. To. Amen. Go back to Corinth, brother. Go back to Corinth. Listen to the book here. We just want to take our time and teach. Read it. Who then is Paul? Who is Paul? And who is Apollos? Who is Apollos? But ministers. Yeah, and that's but ministers. By whom ye believe. By whom you believe. Even as the Lord gave to every man. God gave to every man. I have planted. Paul said, I planted. Now, planted is the one who first initially brought you the gospel. Amen, brother. He sowed the seed. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. He said, I have planted. Amen. I have planted. Remember Paul said in Romans, I believe, 15, around about verse 20, Paul said, Yea, so have I strived to preach the gospel, not the Christ was next, lest I should build on another man's foundation. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. So here Paul is letting you know, I have planted. I initially brought you the gospel. Amen. I sowed the seed. Amen. Read the book. Apollos watered. Apollos came along and watered Amen. what I done planted. Amen. Apollos watered what I had planted, but what happened? But God gave the increase. Amen. Let me let me tell you something. You take in the natural. A farmer can go out and plant, Amen. and somebody can come behind that farmer and water. Amen. But unless God said, "Come up," Amen. <laughs> do you understand? Amen. Unless God say so, ain't nothing coming up. Amen. Do you hear me? So who get the credit? God. Amen. Farmer well, Ben Knight go out there talking about, look what I have done. Amen. That stuff come up and will over. Amen. <laughs> Why? You didn't give the glory. Amen. You didn't get the glory where it should have been. Do you hear me? Read the book, brother. So then neither is he that planted anything. The one that planted, the one that brought the gospel to them initially, he what? He, he's neither anything. He ain't nothing. Right. Do you hear that? Amen. He ain't, look. Somebody say, that's my father in the gospel. Your father in the gospel ain't nothing. Amen. Amen. <laughs> say, he, I, he ain't nothing. Amen. Amen. Do you hear me? And you know something? Y'all listen to me now because a lot of people, when all they ever known, perhaps, is this man. This man may be the one who initially brought them the gospel. That's right. First truth they ever heard was from this man. Brother, that man can get off track. Yes, he can. If your focus, your affection is not on things above, Amen. and if your focus and affection is upon him, you're going to get off track with it. Amen. And a lot of folks become handicapped because this is all I know. Amen. This is all I know. But if you know Jesus the Christ, oh, yes. y'all hear me now. Amen. Amen. If you know Jesus the Christ, Amen, the Son of the Living God, Amen. man can get so far off track, you focused on God. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. You focused on heaven, you focused Amen. on God. You're not gonna get off track with men if you know the Lord. Amen. Amen. You're not gonna do it now. Amen. I don't care if they was the first ones to bring you the gospel. Amen. You Paul said, follow me as Amen. I follow Christ. Amen. As Christ. My God, man, if they stop following Christ, get off the ship. Amen. Do, do y'all hear me? Amen. I said, get off the ship. Yes. My God, the ship done sprung a leak. It's taking on water. Amen. Bible ain't said for you to stay there with a bucket. Try to, it's all right. It's all right. We going to make it. No, sir. You better get off the ship. Amen. It's going back. Amen. Can't you see the water coming? Amen. Do you understand? Amen. Can't you see the water coming in the ship? You better get off the ship. Oh, My God, man, it's going down. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. Going down. Amen. What happened? Got off course. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. My 
God, man, it doesn't matter who brought you the gospel first. Are they continuing with Christ? Do you hear? Are they continuing with Christ? Are they continuing in the word of God? Amen. Examine yourselves. Amen. YouTube listeners, radio listeners, my God, examine yourselves. Examine yourselves. Hear me now. If the preacher has stood in the counsel of God, it will cause you to come out of sin. Amen. That's what the book teaches. Amen. It'll cause you to come Amen. out of sin. Amen. My God, if they stood in the counsel of God, the word that come from their mouth will quicken you, my God, where you got to start coming out of sin. Amen. Hear me now. So examine your sins. How many of you receiving the Holy Ghost? How many? I didn't say how many were getting baptized. Because you can preach baptism in a manner to, com to compel folks to get baptized. And then go there in baptism. You can do that. And go there in baptism. Amen. Craftiness. Amen. Do you hear me? One thing about it. Men are crafty enough to teach baptism in a matter to compel a load of flock of folk to get baptized. But one thing they're not crafty enough to do Amen. is that's convince God to fill them with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> no, you're going to live right for that. Amen. Amen. I promise you, you're going to live right for that. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. Bible said, God, give me Hebrew 2 and 2, brother, Amen. 2 and 4. Give me Hebrews chapter 2 and that verse 4. Let's see how do God bear witness. Hebrews 2 and 4. What did it say? God also bear them witness. God bear them witness. But with signs. How God bear witness? With signs. By God, something taking place. Amen. With signs. And wonders. And with wonders. And with divers miracles. This is how God bear witness. Amen. Signs, wonders, divers miracles. And gifts of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's how God bear witness. Amen. Amen. Gifts of the Holy Ghost. Amen. How many receiving the Holy Ghost? Amen. How many? Amen. Do you hear me? How many? Amen. Receiving the Holy Ghost. Amen. Right? You can baptize 5,000. How many spoke with tongues? Amen. How many receiving the Holy Ghost? How many is God bearing witness with? Amen. How many? Do you hear me? Amen. That's how God bear witness. Amen. Hear me? That's how God bear witness. Amen. Baptism is good, but baptism by itself ain't saving none of you. Amen. Do you hear me? I said baptism is good. Gotta have it. Wash the sins away. It'll save you from the sins that you've committed. My God, up until that point, Amen. and also the sin you inherited from your first father Adam. Amen. But baptism by itself is not gonna take you to the kingdom. Amen. It won't do it. Amen. I said it won't do it. Amen. My God, you got to be born again. Amen. You got to have the Holy Ghost. Amen. Speaking with other tongues. Amen. As the Spirit of God give you utterance. Amen. My God, Amen. you got to have something on the inside Amen. of you that'll make you live right. Amen. That'll keep you. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. You got to have it now. Amen. Hear me? My God, man, yeah. My God, they can persuade you to get in the water. But persuade God to give them the Holy Amen. Ghost. Amen. It's going to take some living right for Amen. Give me Acts 532, brother. It's going to take some living right to get the Holy Ghost. I promise you that. Amen. My God, I'm not convinced. I'm not persuaded. I'm not excited. I'm not impressed about a lot of folks getting baptized. Amen. I have baptized many. Amen. I'm not impressed with that. Amen. Do you understand? Give me Acts 5, 32. What did it say? And we are his witnesses of these things. Bible said, we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost. So is also the Holy Ghost. Whom God had given to them that, that obey him. You're going you gonna to do right. Amen. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. You gonna obey God to get the Holy Ghost. Amen. My God, man, was look, look when they start receiving the Holy Ghost, that's when my eyes come open. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Do you understand? That's when my eyes come open. Now, otherwise than that, I'm not impressed. Amen. 